Thank you. Hello, I'll say false people. You good? I'm good. I'm glorious. <laughs> ah, he's glorious. I'm Patrick. This is Angry Zach. I'm the noob. This is the Angry Zach. We just got done with NXT, uh, WWE NXT Live, excuse yes. me. First time they've been in Spartanburg. First time they've been in Spartanburg. They've been in Charleston before. I went to the one in Charleston. This one was so much better than the one in Charleston. The main event was Ty Dillinger versus uh, Bobby Roode. I thought the match was great. It was, they were entertaining. Yeah, it wasn't you know hard hitting or anything. It was just a great match. Um, we had Asuka. I can't remember who she was facing, and I feel bad. But it was a good match. Because she, she's... Huh? Daria. Daria? Yeah. I, I know she's like the MMA fighter. I, I know about her, but I don't know her name. But entertaining match, at least. Uh, then we had a tag team match for the titles. Authors of Pain versus D Hashtag DIY. Authors of Pain win. Uh, they, they win still looking strong. I know it's a live event. You're, you're not supposed to take this, but still looking They look great. as strong as Roman. <laughs> Before or after Strowman? Before Strowman. There we go. Uh, the most entertaining part of the match was, honestly, the Revival coming out. The Revival coming out had one of the biggest pops of the night. Just whenever you heard say, yeah, the crowd got on their feet like that. The people around us jumped. I didn't even think they could move that fast, but they got up fast. And then uh, we I, I was a little confused at first because I haven't seen Hideo and Tommy in God knows how long on NXT. So I forgot his theme song for a quick second. But then right when I saw Hideo, I was like, oh, it's Hideo and Tommy. Awesome. Yes. And then Nakamura comes out. And Shinsuke's being ever so charismatic. Strong style. Overall, what did you think about the night? I think it was great. Um, first couple matches were good, a little slow. I thought the uh, women's tag match really kicked it into gear. That uh, was a great match. The the, the first match uh, featured Cassius Ono. Um, and the guy I don't know. The guy I don't know. I thought the one of the most entertaining match, matches uh, was Black's match. Yeah, he's he's going to be a star. He... I, I I want to picture this like one time at NXT the lights are gonna go out and like his music's gonna play and then it's gonna stop lights are gonna come back on and he's just CM Punk in, in this middle of the ring when the lights come back on I mean it's, I'm just so excited for him I think he's one of the best people coming from NXT that could do some stuff overall what do you think about the night? It was great the crowd was great they were they were definitely into it they were very appreciative of everything. They weren't hostile. And it, yeah. and it, I mean, there were a couple of delete chants, but... Which were great. I mean, that big guy. The, yeah, yeah. I, Some nobody. Uh, he's not, like, one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions or anything. It's all good. Uh, but overall, I mean, I, I sat floor side. Uh, we were the actually... Side we were actually... I saw you. We were on the opposite side. And first we were up in... High up in the bleachers. And then the lady saw we had these on. She was like, we to be down in the bleachers on the floor. Like, what? So after the intermission, we went down there and saw all the time. I I legitimately think that this night was a lot better than the one in Charleston. I mean, you weren't the one you went there in the one in Charleston, obviously. But my sister, who's filming, Hi. was there. Uh, so she, me and her kind of talked about it beforehand. We just felt like these these guys had more weight to their name than the one in Charleston did. The people that were there in Charleston were, you know, American Alpha. Uh, the Revival were there. Asuka, Shinsuke, Finn, Baron Corbin, and Ty Dillinger. That was pretty much the only people that had weight to their name. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Austin Aries. Forgot about Austin Aries. Austin Aries was there. But this night was fun. We had two friends over here that aren't going to be. He's drinking it in. That's my friend. He's a lunatic. But overall, like, you guys enjoyed tonight, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. Scott, this is your first NXT, right? Oh, yeah. I've been to other WWE live events, but this one by far was, like, my first NXT experience, and it was crazy. It was completely different than all the other things you've been to. Tommy. Thank you. I didn't know your name. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. 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 First time meeting. <laughs> it's also my first NXT. Uh, I was really excited to see Nakamura. That was my favorite part of the show. I, I didn't expect Nakamura to be there. I didn't either. I feel when, like when he came out, I legitimately did this to Scott. I was like, oh my yep. god! And he's being very literal. I, I, I jumped on him. Uh, so overall, NXT, success. I think it's good. I've been to several Raws, and they've all had great moments, but I think from start to finish, it's probably the best WWE show I've been to. 
the, the crowd was hot the whole time. Yeah. There, there was a few moments in between the matches where it was quiet, but I mean, even like you know the close counts and too sweet and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. I didn't understand at first what was going on, but every time the, the ref would go two, everyone would go sweet. I didn't understand that at first, but overall the night was great. We're gonna talk about more tomorrow night on the Upset Pulse. Join us on 106.3 WORD from 6 to 9 p.m. and we'll talk a little bit more about it. It'll be glorious. There will be strong style involved.